Iekpe is the name. A registered member of Nigeria Institution of Estate Surveyors and Valuers, practicing within Abuja. I've been in, in practice for the past 24 years. For you to understand the land acquisition process, you must first acknowledge that there's a land administration. Through land administration, you'll be able to know the process of acquisition. The land administration in Nigeria started under the decree of uh, the Land Use Act or the Land Use Decree of 1978 under the then military administration of uh, General Obusanjo, where all land were vested within the governor of a state. It is through the land administration understanding of the land administration that you will know the process of acquisition. To acquire a property or to acquire a land, a land interest, there must be a process to follow through each state. Every state has a land administration process that is managed by the Ministry of Lands and Survey. For Abuja, the land administration is managed by the Federal Capital Development Authority. That is where you begin the process of acquiring a plot of land. For you to acquire a plot of land in Abuja, it's either you're going to go through the public sector, which is the open market, or you go through the process of acquiring it through the, the government, where you will need to visit the administration the Federal Capital Authority Administration, where you can now fill forms demanding for what? Allocation of plot. They are the one to assign plots for you in the areas where they have interest within the territory of Abuja. You can also acquire land through what we call the open market, where individual sells their interest in land. That is the only way you can acquire land with an Abuja. Foreigners own land interest. Uh, because the Land Use Act under the 1999 Constitution did not stop anybody. The land interest generally is vested in the governor and the governor is the one who assigned that interest to individuals or companies who are interested in land. So foreigners are also entitled to own a land interest in Nigeria and in any way they want to do or want to. The foreigners can equally go through the open market to acquire an interest in land or they can also apply to the government of the state seeking to acquire land which will be allocated to them. State land and private land they are all the same land interests. But one thing you should know going through an estate land to acquire land through an estate means that you are not the direct lessee to the government. You are going to hold a title called the sub -lessee. because that estate generally has been leased by the government to a company who now assign it onto you. So you become a sub -lessee. You are now acquiring a lesser interest in the land. So you become a sub -lessee of an interest. But if you're going to acquire through the government direct, you are going to be a direct tenant, which is the lessee to the government. Hence, you are going to hold a title, the title called a certificate of occupancy or customer right of occupancy, as it may be. But for the estate interest, you are not holding a title. Your interest there is going to be a sub lessee. That's a deed of assignment. An interest will be assigned to you.
in that estate. The CFO is more superior than a deed of assignment. A certificate of occupancy gives you direct interest because you're dealing directly with the government. But when you are under a deed of assignment, it's not as good as holding a CFO. It's an inferior interest you're holding because you're holding an interest under someone who acquired a certificate of occupancy. So that's the difference. You, your interest is an inferior interest because it's a deed of assignment. The advantage is very clear that someone who has a certificate of occupancy is more. His interest is better than your interest because with that, he can even mortgage the certificate and obtain a loan from a bank. But the bank would not acknowledge your interest. One, your interest is inferior and it's a deed. It's not a certificate. So someone with a certificate of occupancy can obtain direct interest, a loan from the bank or whatever he wants to use the title for compared to that of a person who owes a deed of assignment. There are things you look for where you want to acquire land. You don't just carry money and give to someone that you want to buy an interest in land. Else you fall a victim to fosters. How do you acquire land? What do you do before you acquire land? Either through the government, you go to, right to the government, obtain the form, make the necessary payments to the government, and then the government will allocate land directly to you. But if you are acquiring for, from a public interest, from a public market, the things you ought to do is one, you must go to the plot of land. Ensure that the boundary, that's the boundary, the demarcation is well stated in the document you're holding. Be sure that the area is well beacon. Then you can now walk towards the government to verify. Because you must verify the document before you, before you make any payment. If you fail to verify a document with the government and you go ahead to make a payment, paraventure, the document is for you, you might be on the losing side. So it's always good to visit the place, survey the place, ensure that the place is genuine. Then you work to verify the document before you with the government. As soon as you'll be able to verify the document, that the document before you is authentic, then you can undergo the process of making the payment, obtaining genuine receipts, and then all the other process of documentation thereafter follows. That will only give you access to land. You don't have an idea or you don't know how to undergo this process. It's a valuer. It's an instance of your valuer. He will guide you on the process either through the open market or through the government on how you can acquire an interest in land because they are well trained on the issue of land administration. Real estate is not a, a simple or cheap investment. Generally, if you want to invest in real estate, if you don't have the money, you must find a source for you to be able to make the investment through the bank or through a mortgage bank, through a commercial bank or through a mortgage bank, who will now give you a loan for you to be able to acquire an interest in land. That is the only way with simple money you can acquire an interest. Yes. If you go, in terms of acquisition of interest, if you're going to government, all what you need to do is to have patience. Because the government might not have immediate land to give out. As areas are not well developed, it will be a little bit slower. But if you want 
an immediate development, then you go to the open market. That is where you can obtain land as fast as possible to develop your interests. But if you don't have that money and you don't intend to develop immediately, then you go to the government to acquire an interest. That will take a little longer time. Land generally, anywhere, is the right and the best investment for anyone to make compared to other forms of investment. You talk about uh, stock market investment, you talk about forex investment, land is the best investment. Why? Why is land the best investment? Because it does not it, and it cannot be destroyed. Land is fixed and it does not, cannot be destroyed. So in perpetuity, you can always have land and the value keeps appreciate, appreciating each time. So the land is the very best investment compared to others, other type of investment you know of. So where are the best places for buyers to invest in buy land in Abuja? Well, everybody has their interests. Because Abuja is divided into different faces and districts. Everybody has different interests. And your interest depends on your funding. Abuja is divided into different districts and areas. Your funding, your interest, determine where you want to buy land either for commercial purpose or for residential purpose. There are different districts. There are different areas under local government. The Abuja, uh, Abuja Metropoli, the Buari Area Council, Kuji Area Council. And don't forget, your interest also depends on what you want to do with that. Is it for residential purpose? Is it for commercial purpose? Is it for agriculture? Because in agri in, uh, under the Land Use Act, you cannot just enter any land to develop an interest in agriculture. You must also obtain what? A certificate for it to be able to establish your farmland. You must also see that everything depends on what you want to do and where you want to live. Some people will choose to live in a very low density area. Some will choose a high density region. Some will choose what? A medium density region. So depending on anywhere you want to live and your funding, that will tell you exactly where to buy your land and live or develop for an interest. If you have good funding and your interest is, is in residential, don't forget that Abuja has different rentals, both for the medium, for the low, and for the high density. The rentals area, if you want to do investment where you lease out a property, develop and lease out, and your interest is in, and you have the funding, well, if you can fund your development in my time, no problem or you want a, a medium density, okay, good. So everything depends on your funding. See, there's no specific size or standard, you might call it, plot given out by the FCT administration. There's no specific and no standard. It depends on what they have and the layout. That's what they give out. So there's no specific and standard plot size. And the, the Land Use Act never also prescribe a standard plot. That a standard plot is social size or social size. No, we don't have that. It is what is available to the government administration is what you have. And that's what they will expect you to pay premium on.